Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a difficult fight in which I can't pick a winner. Right, I'm mentioning the fight because I believe this is one of the fights that hardcore boxing fans have to focus on. It's a possible upset in the making. It's going to tell us a lot about both men. And the fight is featherweight champion Johnny Gonzalez, a fighter I love, a fighter I took against Izumi Hasegawa when Gonzalez went to Japan and Gonzalez pulled it off. Right, it's featherweight champion Johnny Gonzalez against contender Elio Rojas. Now, as much as I like Gonzalez, who truly is a boxer puncher, one of the sport's more underrated fighters, his current trainer is A-lister Nacho Beristain. As much as I like Gonzalez, understand that Elio Rojas should be on anyone's list of underrated contenders in any weight class. Rojas is a Roy Jones type. He has blistering speed. He uses distance. He's excellent in terms of movement. And he won't be there in front of Gonzalez to get hit with Gonzalez's lead jab. Right? Gonzalez, who likes to touch you with a jab, kind of like Lennox Lewis, right? Figure out the range with his jab before coming in with power shots is going to have an awfully hard time finding Rojas in the ring. Let me go one step further. It's not just the fighter in the fight. It's also the trainer in his corner. Nacho Beristain, who also trains Juan Manuel Marquez, in my opinion, is a tactician who likes things to go at a certain pace. I believe that he has a problem dealing with what he calls wildcats, right? Fighters who are outside the box. You know, he's a master if you're within the structure of the way things are supposed to be. But if you're outside that structure, if you're a little bit wild, if you're like prime Roy Jones, where you're outside, you're lunging in, you're a bit of an ambush fighter, you have quick hands, right? You're moving. In other words, if you're like young Manny Pacquiao was during the first few Marquez fights, I think Nacho Beristain and his fighters have a very hard time because Beristain is too structured. An opponent's lack of structure will destabilize a guy who is relying on almost a mathematical approach to boxing. He throws this, you counter that. He does this, you do that. Well, what happens if the other guy is moving around the ring at 120 miles an hour. What happens if that guy is not there doing this or doing that? What if the guy's completely unpredictable? What if you can't really prepare for him because you can't find a sparring partner who's as far out the box as your opponent's going to be? I believe that was one of the problems that... Um, Fighters had a few years ago in preparing to fight Manny Pacquiao because Manny Pacquiao was raw. He threw punches from odd angles. He wasn't in the ring trying to outthink you. He was a superior athlete. He was moving around the ring, constantly resetting the angles, then coming in with blistering hand speed. Right? I think structured fighters like Johnny Gonzalez have a very hard time 
with that kind of opponent. And understand, you know, Johnny Gonzalez, and I understand the fights in Mexico, right? But understand, Johnny Gonzalez has been dropped before. Gonzalez has been knocked out before. And even though these guys are roughly the same age, right? Rojas is 29, Gonzalez is 30. Even though these guys are roughly the same age, Rojas, the contender, has a decided hand speed advantage. You know, consider Johnny Gonzalez to be almost like Vladimir Klitschko. Very structured. I would argue that the way to beat a Vladimir Klitschko would be to break his structure. Get inside like Corey Sanders did. Throw a bunch of punches. Right, have him unable to establish his pattern of lead jab, right hand behind it, or lead jab, left hook behind that. You get inside, he grabs you. Right, if you're a wildcat fighter, you get inside and you keep bouncing. You're not interested in efficiency as much as you're interested in destabilizing your opponent. Right? I believe that kind of loose, unstructured fighter will bring down even a structured fighter and great trainer. Right, I don't know who wins this fight. I'll concede that since Gonzalez is very popular in Mexico, any time that a you know, fighter is fighting in their home country and they come into the ring wearing the belt, I don't care what country it is, you have to assume that the scoring is going to be a little bit slanted in that fighter's favor. So I'll agree that Gonzalez, the champion, has a lot going for him. But let me just say, Rojas has the kind of talent that I'm not going to bet against. And while I'm on the sidelines, from a betting perspective, and looking at this fight, from a fan perspective, this fight for me is a must-see. Elio Rojas is real competition. He is a real underdog in this one. Take a coin out of your pocket and flip it. This fight is a coin flip. I don't care what the Las Vegas casinos say. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.